Welcome back, you join me as I'm trying to figure out what to do next. So, um, when the fuel gets to zero, uh, we want the car to not stop, but we want it to plant, we want it to, to slow down, basically. So, um, the speed can't, um, you can't go very fast, basically. Um, we want to do that. We also want to um, find an end game as well. So when you pick up a flag, um, the number of flags collected, as soon as you get to 10, that means that you have won the game. Uh, or you've won that round, sorry. You've succeeded to, to win that round. So I'm going to add uh, an event for that as well in here. So let's do the slowdown first of all. So fuel minus minus is that. Um, but let's change that to fuel equals... Um, math dot, uh, is this an integer? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, math dot, um, max, uh, and it's going to be fuel, zero, minus one, zero. So this is going to have the same effect, but, uh, it is going to subtract one from the fuel, uh, and if we're at zero, it'll be minus one, so I mean it'll pick up the maximum value in here, which means zero, so it clamps it to zero basically. Uh, but now we need to say if fuel is zero, then the speed, we have to change the speed, okay? So um, for that, I'm going to have a public uh, slowdown. Uh, getting set. Do I have? Oh no, I've got an action locomotion. Okay, sorry. Here we go. We don't need that. We need to do this here. So we want to say if fuel uh, equals zero, uh, slow down equals true. Actually, what we can do here is we can do we can reset it automatically just by doing this. There we go, we get rid of that if statement. But we obviously don't have a, a slowdown. So uh, if we go to our locomotion script, um, I'm going to have a public slowdown. What did I call it? Slow, slow down or one more. Set. Okay. So it. Uh, Crash, set active true, bang, paused equals true. So if you crash, then we want to reset, slow down. It's false. Um, oh no, that's got to be in the restart, isn't it? Well, actually, no, because... No, we want to, yeah, let's just leave it as that. So we want to say, we want it only be, to be set inside the pickup thing. So, because the, the car fuel gauge, sorry, the car fuel gauge, that determines what the fuel is. So that's going to set the slowdown. Okay. Um, so inside here, um, we need to determine the speed of the the um, speed of the car. So if slow down speed equals and then it's going to be lower than that, it has to be lower than that, 0 0.15 um, because we don't want we don't want the player to, do, it doesn't matter whether they're hitting the left shift or the right shift or whatever it is, if they've run out of fuel then we don't want them to move fast. So if we go back up to here and run the game, and then we're just going to run it uh, until the timer runs out. So if we're using fuel, oh yeah, if you're going fast, you need to burn more fuel, don't you? Oh, okay. Let's do that as well. So in our locomotion, we need to say uh, public bull. Um, uh, thrust 
get uh, actually let's do a private field in here so let's do private thrust so I say that to there uh, do we need all these extra lines I don't think we do right and then inside uh, so we have our slow down thrust okay so inside here what we're gonna say is um, thrust equals that or that so thrust is that is that right that looks like it's the reverse of that isn't it we're using speed here Oh, I see. Okay, so we're dividing. So we're doing it in like half time. All right. Okay, so that's got to be more than that. Then, so it's going to be 0 0.75. So we're saying we, we want to do that in a quarter of the time. So for thrusting, we do it in a quarter of the time. Otherwise, we, we do it in half the time. And then this one is we do it in 75 percent of the time. I mean, we should probably just make it one. Does it really matter? Uh, let's see what it looks like uh, anyway and then in our car fuel gauge um, we want to see um, uh, fuel uh, int fuel used equals thrust um, and then we want to use maybe two fuel otherwise one fuel There we go. So we're going to use two fuel, two two pods of two ticks of fuel for every uh, every time we hold down the there. So it's going down at that rate there. Oh, I need to speed up. Sorry. Um, so if I hold that down, you can see that it's using more chunks of fuel. Then if I did that there, see it's using less chunks. Or we could do the wait for seconds thing, which instead of using the, the yield for seconds because it feels like we're, it's it needs to be fast, it needs to look faster and it doesn't look faster so I think we need to rejig this bit here so let's say um, um, well um, float time equals uh, zero time is less than one um, Actually, it's going to be fuel used. Uh, time less than one. Mm. Well, the fuel used is always going to be one, isn't it? So it just depends on how quickly it is going to be used. So um, let's call this float thrust time. So if it's thrusting, then the time is 0 0.5, but 0 0.5 seconds, otherwise it's one second. So if time is less than thrust time, uh, time plus equals time dot delta time. Uh, divided by thrust time. Okay. Uh, yield return null. OK. 
Okay. So in this case, we're getting rid of this here. Um, and then we set that to be there at the start and then we go back into there. Uh, okay. So this should, I'm just thinking, is it going to go in there? Right. So, well, the time is less than one. Add time to the delta time, which is the thrust time, which depends whether you get the thrust on there or not. Uh, the thrust time is going to be variable. But it's not going to be set. Uh, hmm. Let me take that in here. Because I want it, I want it to be variable, depending on if you've got the if you got the thrust key held down. Okay, that's better. Yeah, see, it's going down quicker now. That's exactly the effect I wanted. So you can visually see that it's it's going it's it's depleting quicker than than uh, if I don't hold it down. You see, it's kind of plodding around there. But if I like zoom in there, oh, oh the race cars, I get rid of that. He's coming for me. So, oh, here we go. And then when you get down to zero, there you go. And that's me hammering the button and I can't, basically can't move. I'm out of fuel. So I think there's also like a, a time limit like the ability to it gives you like a little bit of extra time to to get to that point but um i mean really you you're you're dead in the water um so um i need to code that up as well um we don't want to do it too many times let me let me leave that just now uh we never did we code that up? Number of flags, pick up flags, flags collected. Um, so the number of flag, the number of flags. Let's count the number of flags. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten flags. Okay. So when we get to ten, we want to say that we collected the right number of flags. So flags collected plus plus. Pick up special flag plus plus. Um, uh, so the pick up lucky flag. Pick up flag. Uh, I do we need to know if it's a lucky flag? Um, maybe we can pass something in here. Um, true. Uh, pick up flag. Uh, lucky flag. Um, so we pass that in as false, and then we say uh, if not lucky flag. Um, signal end. All game. Okay, and then that is going to be when you pick up the flag, we need to gather the fuel. So, um, if not lucky flag, um, and flags collected equals ten. So we want to gather the fuel. Um, but we don't want to resume it. Um, resume gameplay. So 
So in this case, we want to default to true. And we want to say if resume gameplay, we want to resume it. But in this case, we don't want to resume the gameplay because we've picked up uh, that flag. So we're going to pass in false. So we want to gather the fuel um, and end the game. Well, signal the end of the game. So we want to do start and then end the fuel. Blah, 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 blah. So if resume gameplay else, so I put that in that line there. Uh, we want to say end of game, public event. Uh, uh, let's call it all flags. So down here we're going to do it in all flags, invoke. Oh, we need um, this. Empty. Okay. And in our... So let's... Uh, do we need dump flags anymore? No, we don't. Because we don't use it. It's greyed out. So I think everything that we need to do is in here is done. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Um, right, so now, make sure everyone's okay there, uh, and now in our game controller, uh, game controller, we now need to know, so we have hit enemy here, and then we need to do player, and in this case all flags collected, Go down here. Um, and then our all flags, um, we're going to need to stop the. Oh, we can't do that, can we? Hold on. Um, we need to do that before we do this. So yeah, we can't do that in here. What we need to do is um, well, we need for we need a couple of things to happen. Okay, so we can't do that in there. So we need to do that inside here. So pick up flag um, and then that one there. Um, and then up in here, we then need to say um, car fuel gauge. There. There's the sender and engage. Um, uh, where am I going with this? Uh, I had it there. Okay, so we, I'm rambling now, um, rambling a lot in this video. So we now have the flags collected. So we've, we've picked up our last flag. We want to stop all the enemies and then we want to do the countdown thing. So um, we're going to do, um, do we not have a, I guess we don't, okay. So let's stop all the enemies. So pause, pause. Uh, and then we want to say gauge, um, collect remaining, remaining fuel. And if we go into here, uh, we've got our. We don't have any public stuff, do we? Public. And then collect the remaining fuel, which is basically just going to um, start this core routine. But the difference is it's not going to it's not going to start it again. So resume gameplay. We're going to pass in false to there. Um, and so. 
that's what we want to do. So when all the flags have been collected, we want to stop all the enemies. And then once the enemies have all stopped, then we're going to do the countdown thing. And then once that's happened, um, we want to... Um, Let's do this car fuel gauge uh, equals okay, and then I've got a funny film. We've got another another one of these to do here. Okay. Um. Well, that should be plus. So. Uh, once that's happened, we now need to restart, like restart the game, restart the level, um, and I think we can do that in here. So if resume gameplay, do that else um meaning uh fuel gathered um okay and fuel gathered we then want to say Handler fuel gathered, and and back up here we're gonna do age uh, okay, and I'm gonna throw that down with the rest of these. Right there. Okay, so uh, that's gonna be. Uh, manager equals that. Um, I've oh, actually seen manager dot load scene. Um, what did I call the game? I can't remember. Um, oh, I didn't call it tiled map, did I? Oh dear, dear, dear. Uh, let's do save as scenes and let's call this a uh, game. Um, let's call it that new rally X game. Uh, and then I'll do that and that will set that. But we also need to send the current score as well. So player press um, uh, save. Score. So, save score and well, save, save player data. Um, save player data is going to be super simple. Uh, it's just going to be a void save player data, uh, and then we're just going to save all the information for for the player. So we'll do it, do it in player prefs. Uh, set int um, and then it's uh, what is the player where is the player score kept again? It's in car fuel gauge, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Um, and that's uh, gauge. Dear, where are we? Here we go. Score. We don't have these because we haven't set them up yet. So I'm going to have um, like, like, score. It's 
four and uh, lives. Do I don't have lives? I do have lives. Sure, I have lives. Pick up fuel, gather fuel. Nope. Oh no, there's an enemy. Uh, oh no, that's probably in the controller, isn't it? I think I put that in the controller. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not so good. Um, uh, where are we? Uh, game controller. If I get lives up here. No. It's not in locomotion, is it? Where's the head lives? Oh dear. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Lives. Where are we? Sidebar dot lives equals end F. Oh, no. Gauge lives. Oh, okay, I know we don't have that there. Um lives is there. Where am I setting this then? Uh So I'm not saying it anywhere. Wait, what? So when, hold on. So when the player dies, I, we don't, we haven't done that bit. Dear, dear, dear. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna put it in here. Lives equals three. So does that mean I've no? There's a sidebar. I'm sure that I'm sure I set up a sidebar. So for player car, yeah, there's a sidebar there for car fuel gauge. Okay. So sidebar's got to get updated. Uh, okay. Lives equals lives. All right. Um. There, max lives. Max lives is three. Okay, so I can do max lives. So that's all right. Uh, all right, and so when a player hits, um, so if it hits the enemy, uh. If the enemy locomotion is paused, otherwise hit the enemy. So otherwise we're going to do lives minus minus. If lives equals zero, um, uh, equals zero. Um, Sidebar dot lives equals lives. Else, that's it. Game over. Um, I mean, it's just as good as uh, hitting an enemy. Um, but that happens. Uh, let's call that. Um, Uh, no more lives. Okay. So no more lives invoke that. And then uh, up here, uh, public. And no more lives. So I want to 
I'll say less than zero. No more lives in the book. But I also want to say that equals uh, max lives zero. Okay. Uh, again, we're clamping that to the, the zero. So zero and then something positive. Right. So now no more lives. We need to fix that inside our game controller. So we've got gauge lives there. That's right. Um, and then private void load layer data. Oh, this is inside game controller. Yeah, okay. Um, refs dot yeah, int. Net get int score comma zero where press dot get int lives comma three and here and net and net four. There you go. So every time you load the new level, it remembers the score. And then in here our other thing here that we need to do gauge uh, no more lives okay and again we'll take that down to here and then the no more lives um oh yeah load load player data that is gonna be inside our start method. So we're gonna do start method there. Alright. Um uh and then in net we need to do um, star, okay, yeah, sidebar, okay, that's fine. Init, that doesn't get called before that. Well, let's do that. Uh, sidebar, score equals score. And let's change it to that, because it's going to default to score anyway. Sidebar, sidebar dot lives equals lives. Right, and then um, for no more lives, we basically want to kill the player. So it's the same thing as hit, hitting the enemy. So we're going to stop that and then crash. Okay, we're going to stop that crash, um, and then reset positions. Um, Oh yeah, I guess we are going to reset positions, yeah. So it's just going to be the same as player hit enemy. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's just player hit enemy. So we don't need another one for that. So we're just going to hit the enemy there because the other case is handling inside the... Um, uh, inside there. Or do we need to do anything else inside there? Like, can we just call that? Well, it's game over. That's what we need to do. Okay. So instead of that, no more lives, but we are going to call uh, hit enemy. 
So we're going to do hit enemy, sender, event args, and so on. Um, and then do game over. So we're going to do hit enemy, start routine, reset positions. Okay. Reset positions. Uh, yeah, we don't want to do that. We do want to stop everything, so um, let's just stop everything. So we're going to do a crash on there and then stop everything. So the game should be fully working now. Right, I just need to go and grab the flags. Oh dear. Oh, it's following us. And there's the flag there. There's that red car. Ooh. Oh no, run out of fuel already. Oh, I guess there's um I guess it takes longer to, to run out of fuel then. Uh okay. Uh right, let's change that to the fuel gauge. So um our thrust time is that so delta time thrust time. So we're at 0 0.5 and 1. So let's say it's 0 0.125 and 0 0.5. So um, so that was the old one. 125, 0 0.25. that seem reasonable? I think so. Maybe? Let's see. Well, that's way too fast. I think I'm in the opposite direction there. I should have said okay. You, it burns down every two seconds, otherwise it burns down every second. Even that seems quite fast. Okay, well. Collecting them all is a special one. Red car's way over there. Okay, this this seems actually oh red car's there. I mean I haven't even really looked at the enemies yet. Oh, there's the red car. And that was genuinely exciting. Oh no, I've gone inside this cul de sac. Alright, here we go. And there's the lucky one. There's the fuel. And then I'll get this one here. And I just need to pick up this other one. Come on. There we go. And then we restart the level. Alright. And we still have the score. Perfect. Uh, although that didn't look like it picked up the score there. No, it did. Yeah, it did. Sweet. Well, that's excellent. Okay, so now we need to crash into the car and check to make sure that the lives count down. 
Okay, that's one. There's another one. And there's another one. Perfect. Okay. Right, because it's not, it's just restarting just now. So we need to get it to stop restarting uh, and put game over over the top of the, the play field, wait a couple of seconds, and then go back to the main menu. So what I did was I used the, the Namco font here and I just created these separate game objects. Uh, and then I placed them all inside, well, they're all sprites, but I, I placed them all inside this null game object, this empty game object. I put it at this position here so it, it appears in, sort of in the middle of the screen, just slightly underneath the player, because the player's in the middle of the screen. Uh, and then I attached it to the UI and I made sure that it was at the same depth as the sidebar, so you can see that the sidebar is at 10 on the z-axis uh, and this is 10 on the z-axis and I made sure it was in the same layer as well because don't forget we've got this UI camera um, and if I go to the scene you can see down here what the UI camera preview sees uh, can I make it bigger can I? no I can't uh, but you can see in there roughly that it says game over but so when I run the game you'll see that it's front and centre uh, down here and then you know obviously we don't want it to be um, always on because it's it's not game over so I'm going to disable this just now and call it uh, well it's game over that's fine um, but for our game controller I'm going to add a reference to it uh, in here so I'm going to say private uh, game object So our game over object remains game unshowing, hidden <laughs> is the word I was looking for. Um, oh, this is the car fuel gauge, isn't it? Darn it. Okay, we don't want it in there. Um, we want it inside our game controller. So put that in there. And then when the player hits, gets the end of it, no more lives. Um, we want them to crash. So we want to say game over dot set active true. Uh, and then we want to do things for it. So no more lives, no more lives. Okay. So this is called No more lies there, okay. Uh, okay, we want to hit the enemy. But the problem is we don't want to hit the enemy. We only want to hit the enemy if they have... Aha, ha, 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 ha. So we need to do the same thing, minus one here as well. Oh no, I want to do that. There, okay. Uh, we want to say if lives is um, lives is greater than or equal to zero. We want to do this. What's that? Lives. Otherwise. We want to say that there's no more lives. Yeah. So we do. We have three lives. Grand zero. No. So we start off with three lives. Now we're down to two and one. Yeah, it's got to be zero. Greater than zero. Uh, so if it's greater than zero, we want to invoke the hit enemy. Otherwise, we want to invoke the no more lives. Okay, so now we just let the player be hit three times and we'll get the game over sign. All right, there's one, 
two. And then this one. Oh. Well, it worked, but I got that down there. So what I need to do is I need to drag the game over object to there. Alright. So this will work. Crash. 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 And game over. Okay. And then we wait a few seconds and then we just reload the game. I think that's the, the only thing we can do. Um, so, uh, what have we got here? We've got um, no more lives set active to that. Um, and then uh, we want to wait for a couple of seconds and then reload the, the level. Um, Oh yeah. Uh, uh, reload level. So reload level is going to be private void level. Uh, and then we want to reset the the, the player data. So, um, that there, um, that there, and then we want to reset the player data, like I said. So, our reset code is up here. So, we're going to uh, copy that there. Private void set player data. So we're going to set the score to zero and we're going to set the score the lives to three because they, they have a default of three. And that is going to be inside here. So we're going to reset the player data, wait a couple of seconds, and then load that there. We also need to save the round as well. Uh, player press int round is one. Uh, and then save that to be page round. Um, do we don't have it in round here, do we? No, we don't. Private. Oh yeah, we do current round. There it is. Um, like int. Um, equals that. All right. Um, do we set? Oh yeah, we need to set that in here. So we need to do int. Round. Round. Sidebar. Dot. Round. Current round. And then we do the same thing in there, and that's fine. That's already done. Uh, and we should have a hit here, yeah. And then we do. Repress. Dot. Get int. Um, round. Then default to one because it's the the first round. Okay, uh, and that's it. I think that's. Um, let me just split this into make it a little bit more easy to read. There you go. So the defaults are zero score, three lives, one round. That's the 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 default there. And then we do the same thing here as a score lives and rounds are set there. And then when you die, uh, it waits a couple of seconds and then reloads the game. What you could do is you could reload it back to a um, player, like a, a, a sort of a, a welcoming screen and, you know, instructions and all that kind of stuff. But um, I think this is as far as we're going to go with a new rally cross for this one. Um, but yeah, let's try and um, 
get ourselves killed by this uh, car, which I forgot I was doing there. Oh, Trace, there you go. Okay. So that's round one. Still on round one. And then should crash, game over, and then it should wait a couple of seconds and restart. Okay. Perfect. Well, that's not perfect. Right. So if the player is collecting flag, collecting that, then uh, they should all stop as well. So, um, let's do a age pause enemies. Enemies, uh, gauge dot resume. That's the one we want. Okay, and then we do the same thing down here. Go down to no more lies. Um, and then we do for each of our enemy, enemies, enemy dot pause. Except that's the other one. <laughs> this one and then we do resume right and then inside our gauge our fuel gauge when we pick up the um, the lucky flag we want to uh, Um, we want to um, pause enemies invoke empty and then uh, in gather fuel Blah blah blah. Resume gameplay. Locomotion resume, and then resume enemies. Dot invoke. So we want to resume the enemies as well once we when we've finished doing that. So that should prevent us from running into enemies. Okay, so let's. Let's also test as well, uh, one more thing. So let's go grab a flag. So there's a flag, so we've got 100 points there. And I was chasing this guy. Oh, here we go, okay. So we've got 100 points. So I wanna make sure that the score resets when the game is over. Resets. Did it reset there? So we get six hundred, twelve hundred. Come on, there we go. Okay, so we got twelve hundred. Game over. Score resets. Okay, cool. All right, that's it. <laughs> I'm done. No more new rally cross. Uh, if you can think of anything um, that you want me to 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 do to to make this game a little bit fuller, 
um leave a comment in the, in the comments below uh otherwise i'm gonna call this one done uh we've been at this for a year now <laughs> it's taken a long time i want to move into other things um so i think i'm going to call this one a day uh we've done all the main mechanics in there um you've got the bare bones of 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 the um of the game itself you can enhance that you can add more enemies i've added you can see how easy it is to add a, a new brain quote unquote uh to the enemies um we've done everything we've got collision detection game ending things next round all that kind of good stuff so the world is your oyster please do with it as you wish but i'm done with it unless someone comes up with something that that is um fundamentally missing from from the the uh, the game anyway thank you so much for watching this has been a marathon um uh series of videos um thank you very much for everyone who's who's tuned in uh there'll be other videos coming uh this year uh but until then thanks again if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button notification bell and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and uh don't forget to subscribe and all that kind of good stuff and youtube algorithms and everything and share as well on social media if you found this content uh useful for you but until next time thank you so much and i will catch you in the next video bye bye